Hello everyone, my name is Denzel Gunnell. It is October 7th, 11 a.m. Um, just give me one second. So, <clears throat> So recently, when we wake up about, I don't know, 11, 11 ish, 10 ish, 10 50, 10 30, um, I looked at my phone and there was uh, a call from my work, or my old work. This girl, <clears throat> it's talk about. It's called, it's on Interplex, yeah. Interplex, I think I'm saying that, I don't know, Drive, and, uh, be called 10, 10 a.m. Don't know for what, they leave me a message, probably because my message is, like, weird, or, like, is it, when, it, once um, I don't answer, it will go to a voicemail. And I accept my own voicemail. But it says, Hello? 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 So, but I don't answer. It's funny. Just because for purposes, when, um, when, uh, when the people call me that, I don't know. So, <clears throat> Here's, here's my issue. So, I show you the one, right? Let's talk about. Now, you may look like, why is there a picture there? Well, I said a picture like that. It'd be funny. But anyway, they took, they called me. Um, I don't even know I can video record as I'm calling to see what they say. Secretly, while well, I'm on you know, I might be able to, so. So, I'm sure I go back and say, I don't know, I don't feel like it. This is really crazy, but I have, I got another job at Buffalo Wild Wings. I don't go in until like four today. So if I'm gonna walk there, I have to leave by two. I can leave at 3 30. I'm joking. <laughs> but if I walk, it would take me about. It would take me about. Um, mm -hmm, 20 minutes. 25, 30, maybe. So I'm going to have to leave by 2. Or maybe a little bit late. Later than that. So, anyway, sorry about the delay. Um, <clears throat> I haven't been to the abandoned house. I may not be going back anymore. Um, there's nothing there that I've seen. I do want to go back for uh, more, if I can find more special rocks or rocks that I found that were like almost crystal ish. See how long it takes to get to my job. See. Yeah, it takes about forty. <laughs> it takes about. 48 minutes, so nearly an hour. So, it takes that long on foot. I would have to leave by, I want to say three, I would say two. I mean, I would just walk. I'm going out anyway to head towards, uh, to head towards, uh, 
plate power shots and stuff. So, I need to update. About what's going on in the news and stuff. Even before I get started, I'm looking at the news. Um, since winter's coming, I live in Portage, so obviously it's gonna get cold. Maybe not too, too cold, but it get cold, cold enough for me, at least. Where I wouldn't be here. <clears throat> so, I'm trying to save up money um, to go to uh, California in order for me to stay warm and I'm going to explore out there as well. I, there's another place I can go to. It's Denver, I think. But Denver, Idaho or Denver, Arizona, I don't know. So, okay, so, out there. This one serious. <sighs> Give me a second. <clears throat> Sorry, some call from my mom's machine. She had surgery on her shoulder, so but my mom's machine to return it because it's been weeks and months, and she's gonna she's feeling better, so she'll be going back to work anyway. So anyway, let's see. They have a fuse break window to save Tyler locked in the car, police said. Okay, there's, there's, sorry, I, there's no one that, <laughs> there's no one that, um, I saw that is horrible and cruel and Stupid at the same time. <laughs> well, we get to that. So he says, <clears throat> as his one-year-old daughter was trapped in a hot car Monday afternoon, which I don't know what this where this took place. See, it says, okay, so it says Las Vegas. So, yeah, so Las Vegas, obviously, is hot. First of all, one reason, re reason why it's hot. It's near a desert, is Las Vegas. Not only that, it's by Area 51, I believe it's called, in Las Vegas, which is in Nevada. So anyway, it's one year old, daughter was trapped was trapped in a uh, in a hot car Monday afternoon the 27 year old the turn the 20 27 year old pardon me man we buffed buffled help for a medical police officer and his brother to break the window because he couldn't afford to damage his new car Wait, wait, let me, let me, let me get this back. So, this man <clears throat> called the police. And his brother just over, because he couldn't afford to damage his window or his new car. Really? He couldn't afford it to damage. Let me tell you, that is shitty. Over a new car, that is your daughter that's trapped in a fucking car. You're going, you're going, you're going to um, call your brother and a police to help you what? Open up the car like gently, or without putting scratches. Like, 
the chosen hot car is in Las Vegas. For God's sakes, you know what I'm You're worried about your fucking car, not your daughter. You're, you're, <laughs> holy shit, you're just like, oh my God. Like, how can you not? Your one-year-old daughter in a fucking hot car, and you cannot save her by breaking your car window. You have to call your, you have to call your brother, dude, because you, what? Oh, my precious car. It's my precious car. I can't touch it. I can't break it. Can you scratch it? Your car is not your wife, dumbass. It is your daughter in that car. people these days okay the good news was you couldn't afford the damage to the car the air conditioning was on and the girls was okay so then okay <clears throat> we just partner was on the phone with an insurance company representatives representative offered to send a tow truck send a deal send a Deal told her to hang up because he didn't agree with the cause according to his arrest report. Natalia Saya was trapped in a high heat environment for about an hour and was dead when officers eventually smashed, smashed the window to pull her out. This guy. Oh, it's too much. I get it. But your car is what? Your car is more valuable than your own fucking daughter. <laughs> you shitty. Deals was something like book into the court. Deal, Dal, deal. I guess deal. Like deal. I'm gonna deal you some fucking shit. I guess I don't know. I don't know what the fuck meant. Clark County Detention Center on one account of child abuse and neglect causing substantial body harm in jail log show. But this guy killed a baby. So it should be considered murder. By the injuries, the baby's dead. Deal, deal did not attend a hearing early today due to medical issues. Las Vegas Justice Court record shows he is being held on to 20,000, I almost said 2,000, 20,000 bond. He killed his daughter. And deal flagged down officer patrolling near the 700 block. H Street near Owens at West of Martin Luther King Boulevard at 3.33 p.m. He told them he actually locked his keys inside his running car and that his girl was inside. An officer offered to call locksmith a tow truck or to break the window, which deal declined and said he arrived with the officer who wanted to call his brother. What he said. Uh, well, wait. So, he, okay. So, his brother knows how to lock the car? Okay. After several minutes, the officer broke the window and pulled out the unconscious girl who died at the scene. Police said it wasn't for how many minutes he left before Dill gave consent for his window to be broken. Detective who took over the investigation spoke to Davis' brother who told them about a confusing phone call from his brother. Police said either, either way, the man quickly headed to Dale's home. He immediately wrapped his shirt around his hand in order to punch out the window. The dude who said the air conditioning was on told him not to and to instead call 
her mother to have her insurance company send a locksmith according to the rest. Before, Dill said he didn't have money to replace the window if it, it, it broken. Dill's girlfriend said they could have fought and she asked for him and started to have the apartment. To leave the apartment, police said. Going, going to deal, he put the car in the, he put the girl in the car which he said was running with the air conditioning on before he headed back to the apartment when he continued to argue. Really? Oh, you're such a fucking dumbass. With a woman for 15 minutes trying to, to hand him his phone. As she complied, the girlfriend said he returned to ask if she could call his insurance company because he locked his key inside the car. Okay. <clears throat> well, this is a lot of information. So this guy caused his daughter to die. And over him not breaking his car, the daughter's locked in the car. Like, he's your brain dude. That's all I gotta say. So here's this one. It's funny, sad at the same time. This is police <laughs> said man who raped ten month old daughter. Google, how do you know if a baby is something? So You really search that? Are you? Okay, this is this is the most ignorant, ignorant thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, yeah, it's terrible, but like, what the fuck? Why would you uh, say something like that? Please say, men who raped ten month old daughter. Girl, how do you know if a baby is dead before calling nine one one? Uh, how you know? Oh my god, this guy has to be the most fucking ignorant motherfucker in my life. This, 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 well, how do I know if my wife is dead before calling home? What the fuck is wrong with you people? Baby has a heart, unless she does, unless she, unless she doesn't have a heart, unless she doesn't have a nervous system or a blood vessel. This is playing with you. ignorance. This is from. Lower Province Township. Okay, so police in Pennsylvania are the same man who is charged with the death of, it, of his 10 month old daughter. According to WPVI, police were called to the home in, in the 3,400 block of Garmentown Road around 10 40 p.m. on a Saturday. Answering a 911 call about an unresponsive baby. Police said they found the baby. Okay, see that. Um, drugs in her 29 year old father, Austin Steven, Stevens. And the baby was taken to the hospital but soon died. From what? According to authorities, a search warrant was issued for Stevens' phone, which showed. Uh, for an hour before he called online, line, he may search, may search for each other, such as if a baby stops breathing, what if you, if a baby stops breathing, what if you don't hear baby heart or beat? <clears throat> okay, this is the most dumbest person. Dumbest person in my life to ever say to to search this. If my baby stop, if my baby stop breathing, what if you don't hear the heart, baby heart or or beat? You don't hear your baby heart; it's not beating. 
you like you not know I swear to god people don't Oh come on. Since my baby isn't breathing and how do you know if your baby is dead? When the heart stops pumping. How do you know if a person's dead or not? It's when the heart stops pumping. They die. Until you get the heart pumping back again. Like, I mean, I mean, I know, um, the medical, but when the heart starts pumping, the brain loses oxygen. So, so when the brain loses oxygen, the brain slowly starts to die out. The neuron cells and all that stuff. So, when you try to, so, the cerebellum actually is, controls our heart rhythm and all that other stuff. Well, if that starts to decay, it makes it harder to re restart the heart as well. Brain doesn't recognize it. That's why when someone has a heart attack or their heart stops and you revive them, they're mostly mentally disabled halfway or have no clue where they are. They lose memory or they have this or they have that because the brain loses oxygen. And when the brain loses oxygen, the cells in the brain, the neurons start to die out. So this guy is absolutely fucking retarded. How do you know it's a baby's dead? How do you know that? Oh. Um. Well, maybe when the heart stops. How do you know if the baby's heart stops? Oh, oh. It's called these two fucking fingers in. I don't feel the well, blood vessel vein. Oh. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. What happens is the, the uh, blood vessels are pumping. You don't hear beep in the, uh, in the neck or anything. Oh, 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 <clears throat> Please also say he conducted a conversation not related to the previous condition via text and social media with two women during the same time. <laughs> what? <laughs> An autopsy later determined that the baby was a victim of sexual assault. This case is deeply disturbing and it's hard to imagine the child is dead being, being more traumatic sexual assault on an infant full of by an action. An action by the father to save her life led to her death. Montgomery County DA Kevin R. Steeler is is quoted as saying Steven is charged with an involuntary defiant sexual intercourse or aggravated assault. In other charges, well, of course, death. Um, Steven is in the co co owner of a construction. Or Steven is the co owner of construction company. Is also the coach for the Lord Provider. Lord Providence Warrior Football Team. According to investigators. So. If I had to guess, this way he did, and I'm not going to give any detail that he pretty much put something inside a girl. <laughs> and they age, they're small, you, you, you can't do that. It's like, that's like, when you do that, um, it, what happens? What is that? Oh, no. Can you do that? Can you say? You can do that. You know, you can go in the wrong way. You can go all the way up into the head. You can, like, they can die from it. They're not, they're not grown. They're not old enough. They, 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 
it's, it's just wrong. So, and that said, um, let's look at more of the local news. Oh, this one. I remember this one. St. Petersburg, Florida. That one was funny shit. I really. <clears throat> I don't see anything. I don't see anything too serious. I guess, you know, I'm going to just let you go. I'll get back to you later. I'll get back to you later. Sorry. I'll make another video. Hope you like this video. Um, please subscribe. Um, to this channel, I will be making new videos. Um, try to do it every hour at least. I um, will be heading towards places today um, to see how I can get money off of the things I found. So, I hope you like this video. Please subscribe. My name is Denzel James Gunnam. And those who have subscribed to my channel, peace.